Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment on anything you want to talk about and turn on the notification bell. You get lovely and exciting videos whenever I upload them. So today I'm going to be giving you guys hot gist. <laughs> Don't mind me, not so hot anyway. I'm just gonna share with you my pregnancy story from my first month down to my ninth month. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my journey so far. So, fun fact, I kinda know how to check my my safe and unsafe days. So two days before I missed my period, I'd already felt it that I was pregnant. So I went to get pregnancy strip to check and voila I was pregnant. I thought well, I thought I told you I was gonna be pregnant. So he said that uh, okay, he was happy, so we, we were happy. But I was having mixed feelings. I don't know if I should be happy or I should be sad. Ideally, I'm supposed to be happy, but I was happy and at the same time I was scared. Why? Because I wanted to choose my career to a certain level before getting pregnant. Like I even discussed with my husband that we should wait for a year before getting pregnant. He agreed, but then life happened. <laughs> And I have I have my love baby. So first month came by with the whole pregnancy thing. I was waiting for the whole cliche pregnancy symptoms. Mostly the ones Nollywood will always show us once the person is pregnant to start throwing up, to start sleeping fever and all. So I was expecting all of those. But I didn't see them. I waited and I was still fine. And that's my mom. I don't get it. I'm almost one month done and no symptoms. Not like I was completely out of them, but I just noticed I couldn't eat pork. I couldn't eat fish, meat, spraying coal. My favorite Afghan soup too. I disliked it. It tasted sour in my mouth, kind of. So I stopped eating Afghan soup. And I also noticed I wasn't this particular one, two days, three days to when I missed my period. I already noticed I didn't like taking soda anymore. I didn't like drinking tea. Anything that contains sugar, I didn't want to take them anymore. So that one also made me feel something was wrong something was going to happen so afterwards i still didn't take i didn't take soda and tea for like up to my fifth month it wasn't sweet in my mouth anymore i just ate fruits i ate plain food no chicken no meat no fish of any sort it should just be plain and i'll be fine i i ate normal i, I was just my normal self I'm nauseous i was just there Sometimes I would even poke my tummy. I'm like, am I really pregnant? Because I wasn't sleeping. I was just there, moving, going by the day, counting days and months. When I was fourth, when I was in my fourth month, my tummy was still flat. I would be wondering, are you sure I'm really pregnant? I'm not having symptoms. I can't feel my, I can't feel anything in my tummy. It went on like that till so my fifth month. I felt for the first time. A gassy feeling it was more like a butterfly in my tummy the feeling was so nice anyway it's just like when you have when you're when you're gassy and you want to fart so I felt that in my tummy I just felt the amniotic fluid in and, and protecting the baby probably the baby was big enough at my fifth month here yeah, the baby was big enough to swim so it's okay yeah actually it felt like a bubble moving in my tummy because i just so i just assumed it's the baby moving in my tummy that was what i thought so that was the first one i think when i got to my sixth month my baby started jabbing me like boom boom ah but it's very light and doesn't come often but then i felt it every blessed day right from the day i started feeling gassy it was every day so anytime i wake up in the morning i was looking forward to feeling my baby and some days baby would just be so quiet like he's having mood swing or something so the first time i didn't feel my baby for two days i was everywhere like oh no what's wrong with my baby we need to go check my baby before anything happens actually it's a good thing because why is the baby quiet two days baby's not moving it is normal but then if you want to check it's still a good deal you go check i so i went to do scan and it's just resting it's fine i was relieved i went back home so that day when i got back i said feeling my baby move i was like oh so you were waiting for me to go and check before, before you start moving or what so my baby started moving again and i was relaxed went on like that i think my fifth month still having had bone but the symptoms were gradually gradually creeping in so i 
say having had born if i eat little i already feel full so maybe i don't know if it's this bomb it moves it up to the side and it chokes me i felt really uncomfortable the sleeping position changed i couldn't sleep i couldn't keep my back on the bed to sleep or my tummy on the floor or my tummy on the bed to sleep it was either this way or that way it was really stressful anyway that was one of the things I looked forward to after delivery. Like, no longer I roll on the bed. I have to stand up or lie down like a robot. Go left, right, mm, like that, before you could stand up. So it went on that way. I was seven months. I was still moving. I wasn't craving. I was still eating normal. Like that. When I was now eight months. My eight months. That was when it was now hitting back to back to back to back. Like, all the symptoms were coming. I started craving, I started eating much. Babies cry. I started eating much. I started eating so much. I started craving, licking ice cream and all the blah blah. So people were saying if you were craving salty things, you're gonna have a boy. If you're craving sugar, you're gonna have a girl. Uh, it kind of worked for me anyway, because I was craving salty foods. And I said boy, sure. But it doesn't really work for everybody, so it kind of worked for me so it went on that way my ninth month really hit hard it really hit hard i couldn't sleep i was having insomnia i was really uncomfortable i would wake up like 10 times to go and pee i would wake up 10 times to drink water as i'm peeing i'm drinking water back to back like so i was always awake to the point that sometimes i would get angry and just sit down and start waiting for pee because i know once i climb the bed it soon take me up to 30 minutes i'm awake again to go ease myself so it was really stressful for me i was like oh god when would that day come and funny enough my baby wasn't even bothered he was enjoying himself he was i don't know probably what things i was eating he was very comfortable with them so it wasn't even making any effort to come out. I wasn't feeling any form of... There's something that they said I used to feel like two weeks before giving birth. What's the word? Um, Braxton hikes, Abby hikes, something like that. So I was waiting for all of those. I didn't feel anything. I wasn't feeling any form of pain. I had a couple of friends that were about to give birth that time. And I, I, I usually ask questions to know if mine was progressing like this. So... They would say they're feeling pains and I am not feeling any pain and I'm almost at my 40 weeks, no pain. I was like, okay, at some point I was getting bothered, like, uncle, come on now, it's time, come out. He didn't answer me. So that was how I stayed oh, till almost I was so heavy and my tummy was so big. Oh, baby was so big, my tummy was really big. I forgot to tell you guys, I went, he was already weighing 4 kg. I was like, Jesus, 4 kids already. And the baby's not even forthcoming. When it gets to that time, how many kgs is going to be? So I was scared. I was scared. At some point, I was like, I'm on like this. I'm going to do this, yes, because I cannot push 4 kg. Plus, because I wasn't even close to giving birth. I was just like, I still had like a few, let me say, two weeks to give birth. And I was already weighing 4 kg. And once the baby gets to the ninth, the ninth month or eight months, baby starts going very fast. I was like, if I'm already 4 kg now, what am I going to be in the next two weeks? So immediately I opted for I was already saying I wanted to see CX. I told my husband, CS. I told my husband and I was okay with it. I told my mom, you know, the whole cliche CS thing. She was like, how oh, God forbid my daughter I would not do CS. It's not really like that. It's not like the olden days anymore. CS now is very, if you want to do it, it's fine. It's just that it's expensive. It's more expensive and it would say you. Besides that, it's not that bad. It's not bad. It's just expensive and it's a quick one. So some people just love to give birth naturally. It's cheaper and you recover faster. Unlike CS. The, um, the vaginal birth is like you just go through the pains there and once you give birth without complications everything you start healing immediately but the cs you don't get to get you don't get the whole labor pain and all then when it's time for them to tear you they'll numb those places that will feel pains and when they bring out your baby they sew the place your healing process starts so it's more like vaginal is before cs is after get the pains but they all give pains anyway depends on what you want if you can't stand the liver pain you go for cs but be rest assured that <laughs> you're still going to feel pains 
so do not feel anyhow and now the cs is not as before like those days when they cut them you still see wound there but now it gets it just clears up immediately so that was how i waited baby was looking for to come in if you've actually watched this video to this point i hope you've subscribed i hope you've subscribed please subscribe like this video comment ask anything feel free say anything you want to say I'll, I'll, I'll be at the comment section to reply and please turn, turn on your notification bell so you get videos from me when I upload so back to what I was saying so I waited 40 weeks I couldn't anymore I went for antenata that day and I couldn't anymore I needed the baby out I wanted to be free like nine months I've just been there you get a lot of restrictions being pregnant so I couldn't wait anymore I had to Go and tell the doctor to okay the doctor said I either I opt for for them to induce me or I wait to see whenever the baby comes or okay I think that was the two options I got that was the two options I got so I immediately told him I want to do CS that I want to do CS so sorry no sorry I told him I wanted to be induced he said okay I went for registrations. I called my husband to bring my box. I already packed my box. You have to pack your box. Start back packing your box at seven months. Seven months because some persons do give birth by seven months. It's actually safe to give birth at seven months. Not safe to give birth at eight months. Safe to give birth at nine months. No, ninth month. So I already packed all my things at seventh month. I just kept my box. Whenever we go, we're carrying the box. So I had to call my husband to bring my box to the hospital. He did. And the process started. I went for registration, I went to buy the drugs to use me, and I was taken to a private room. I was taken to a private room, and that started. So, my labor and delivery story is going to be a story for another day. I mean, that's why I said turn on your notification bell. I, ha I have hot gist for you guys. You need to turn it on. Like, you need to subscribe. You need to like this video. Let me know you're feeling my vibes. In my next video, subsequently, I'm going to be giving you delivery and labor gist. See, this gist, if this gist is hot, know that that one is hotter. In fact, that one is the hottest. I have a lot of breakdown to do there. So just turn on your notification bell. I just turn it on. So whenever I, pl I upload videos, You'll be notified that I have, up, I have uploaded the video. And huh, this one is not hot, my dear. The next one will be hotter. Thank you for watching. Like I said, my name is Becky Bartable.